Hey friends, welcome back to Bloom with Ms. B. Today we're talking common core math, area versus perimeter. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you a fun little song to help you remember area versus perimeter. The perimeter goes around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. The area goes all inside, all inside, all inside. Okay, so behind me I have some shapes, so we're going to find the perimeter of these shapes. Let's go. So first, it is very important to read the directions that we know the value of each little square and what it represents. So figure out the perimeter of the figure. Each unit is one centimeter. So we have to be really careful when counting the perimeter to make sure that we count every single outside unit, not just one square, because one square is going to be the area. We're looking for a perimeter. So one, two, three, four, five. Now here's where it gets tricky because I'm not just counting this one square. I'm counting this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So the really tricky places where it's really common to make mistakes are those sort of corner pieces like we see right here and right here. We need to make sure we're counting this face and this face, not just the one square. So total perimeter for this one is 12 centimeters. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so again, perimeter is around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Make sure you are counting every single face. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't forget this side. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So this one is sixteen. Centimeters. Our trouble spot where we need to be careful for is that corner, which is right here. We have 10 and 11. Just because it's the same square does not mean it is just one number. We need to count both corners. Let's go on down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So we have 18 centimeters. Oh, this one I should write right here, 16 centimeters. Now let's look at this first shape. We know the perimeter is 12 centimeters. Let's go and find the area. So to find the area, I'm going to put the number inside each box because the area is all inside, all inside, all inside. So let's count the area and we will compare it to the perimeter. One two, three, four, five. So there are five full boxes all inside this shape. So the area is five square centimeters. Square because that is the unit size. Let's go ahead and go to this shape and do the same thing. This shape had a 16 centimeter perimeter. We're gonna go through and count inside each box to see how many there are for the area. One, two, three, four, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this one has an area of 12 centimeters, but a perimeter of 16. Okay, so now I've switched to this worksheet, which is primarily focusing on the area. Now, the reason I want to compare area and the perimeter is that way you know exactly what area means. Because when we start calculating just the area of basic shapes, it can get really confusing to lose what the definition of area is. And it's important to remember that the area is just all of what is inside a shape, not just multiplying. Because there is a formula for area, base times height. And you will be using that formula a lot but it's important to know that the area just means everything that is inside that shape. So here we see that the height is three centimeters. That's because there's one, two, three that count up the units on the side. Then at the base, we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So all we're going to do is multiply three times six. Base times height, and that equals 18. 
but we can also count each square unit that is inside this shape and get the same answer. So we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's our same answer. Now you're not always going to get shapes that have this grid or show each unit that is inside. And that's why you need to know the base times height formula. So for example, if we go down to this bottom one, I see that my base is two inches. My height is eight inches. So I'm going to multiply my base and height. So base times height equals, I don't have any units to count just like I did this top one. That is why it's important to know the formula, but you also need to know what area means, which is just everything that's inside. So by multiplying this, I know that the answer is 16. So everything in here is 16 inches because they are measuring by inches. Now, another important thing, when we start doing area and perimeter, this is where it is really important to start including your measurements. So if you're using centimeters, inches, feet, your teacher is going to start requiring you to show that unit of measurement now. Because in sum, we saw the last one was measuring in centimeters. Now this one is measuring in inches. And as far as we see on the paper, they're just squares. We can't tell by looking at them whether it's a centimeter or an inch. Okay, let's do a couple more on this side. What is our base? Remember, base is along the bottom, three feet. We're doing multiplication. And then our height is also three feet. Now, if you know your multiplication, you know that that's nine, but you can also count up the individual units for this given equation. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which proves my answer. And notice this shape, its measurement is by feet. So we need to make sure to include nine feet. Be sure to include your measurement. Now, our bottom one. We have our base, which is 10. Our height, which is two. And we're gonna multiply. So I have 10, nine, two. And what is 10 times two? 10, 10, 20. And how are we measuring this one? Is it feet, inches, centimeters? It's just an M, which means it is meters. So our answer is 20 meters. All right, so that about covers the basics for area and perimeter. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at bloomingwithmissb. It'll be in the description down below. All right, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And remember, keep on blooming. Bye, guys.